Caddis Maximus here. This time I'm reviewing a set of Iris Setter Tamarack Gore-Tex work boots. Casual work boots, as they call them. Although the MSRP on these for an equivalent model today is uh, $150, $165. So they're not exactly cheap shoes. Boots, I should say. I'm also going to mention my subscribers. I did start a second channel where I was doing some shoe reviews, but I realized, you know, I'm so small. Uh, and to build up another second channel from scratch... Uh, I would take away from this channel and so you know looking through my videos uh, this was always about reviewing stuff in my experiences I happen to have a lot of tools so I've been doing quite a few tool reviews and I will continue to definitely do tool reviews there's plenty of other tools to review but things like shoes and boots everybody who watches just about everybody who watches my channel wears some types of footwear and with all the tool reviews I've been doing, there's lots of working people, and they wear boots. So that's why I'm doing a set of boots review. So that aside, I uh, did pull out the laces. And to tell you the truth, for the price of these boots, I definitely will not be buying them again. And uh, it put a bad taste in my mouth. I don't know if I'm going to end up ever trying another set of iron setters unless they're real cheap. Uh, due to my experiences. So I will first start out with the things that I did like about these boots before I start getting into things that I don't like about these boots. The things that I do like about the boots is one, I like that they had a wide platform. It was quite stable. I like this tread. This tread, if we use my index finger here, you can see is real deep. I really like the aggressive, very deep tread on these. I like that they did have a hard plastic, kind of like a steel shank, something to make more rigidity in the, the arch or the center section of the boot, uh, as well as me being lightweight. I did like that they had nice, supple, high-quality leather, and that they are genuine Gore-Tex waterproof. Another thing about these boots is that uh, they fit real tightly. They're kind of hard to get on and off, but they do fit quite tightly around the foot. And uh, I did appreciate the firm ankle support that these offered. They did have all metal eyelets. These are 6 eye boots, uh, sold as 7 inch high. And you can see that they did ovalize those eyelets, so it's easier to put new laces in, or if they fall out of the top ones, it's easier to get frayed laces, that kind of thing, through them. So I did appreciate these boots for those reasons. Uh, there's some other stuff, like they do use some heavy stitching, but it's only one single stitching. This style of boot with this raised lip has never been my favorite because even though there's Gore-Tex, water does want to uh, settle in at the seam. And even though they do glue it, uh, it will always stand there as well as this kind of dish shape on the toe where if you are working in pretty wet conditions, water will just flat out pool on there. And then the issue with Gore-Tex and breathable waterproof membranes is they can't have continuous standing water or any kind of pressurized water. Uh, otherwise, they fail to do what they do. They do well in rain, but when you really start getting into very wet conditions, you need more than just Gore-Tex, even though genuine Gore-Tex does work very well. If you were to have these out all day working in the fields or anything like that, generally working outside, then uh, it'll eventually soak through the toe just because it's always standing on, it's just always uh, water standing there. Other nice aspects, you know, for the price, you do get a lot of leather. It is all genuine leather. It's generally double stitched. And then I did mention the heavy stitching there, the heavy stitching down here where the uh, high stress points are. And, uh, you know, that's all okay. Uh, they do are, you know, leather on the inside of the tongue there, leather on the inside and outside and the upper part. You know, cheaper shoes like Skechers like to use this kind of... Uh, uh, fake leather, vinyl coated fabric, and then the vinyl all falls off and they end up looking like that. Inside we do have our Gore-Tex membrane and we'll pull out the insoles in these if we can get them, dig them out here. They are fairly comfortable, although a little rigid. You know, the soles don't have a lot of rebound. They do have some interesting insoles in here. Um, a dual foam so a softer foam up front and a little bit more firmer foam in the back nicely cupped so the insoles really aren't so bad and then the standard interior it always seems all boots and shoes just have some kind of weird fabric material on the bottom of the uh, insole and i don't know how to apply a lot of proper shoe and boot tunes like lasts and things like that but there is a whole series of proper terminologies for all the components and areas of a boot or shoe 
And what I mean by the comfortability is it seems that this, the foam pad, it was just a polyurethane pad, just was a bit, it's too rigid. It was too rigid of uh, polyurethane. And it seems that they were kind of relying a little too much on their rubber sole. Actually, I don't even know if it's genuine rubber, but the thick sole they were relying to provide some additional padding. And that was something that never really quite worked out for me. They were a little bit harsh on the feet. Uh, after, a, you know, either walking distances or anything like that. Anyway, we can see that these aren't particularly worn. My big issue is they relied on polyurethane foam, which is what this is. It's some kind of or similar compound. And then they sewed right to the polyurethane itself, not actually connecting the sole. And polyurethane is notorious for breaking apart under high stress. And that is exactly what's happened here. And this is what's so disappointing. These, I mean, Irish Setter boots are not cheap. And to have them blow out like this and just to have a simple six month, basically a useless warranty on boots, uh, is just crazy to have them just completely blow out. Both of these boots, as we can see here, have just completely torn and blew out the sides. I mean, they're ruined. And, you know, the six month warranty, they're basically useless. So that's been. Uh, my experience with my first set of Irish boots, you know, these are the model, what, 2858? Let me make sure here. They do, they have listed on websites that they're discontinued, although there's still pairs floating out there on the internet. And then they have, you know, their newer, similar models. But it's just crazy to think that a boot that's just a few years old uh, just totally would blow out, especially a set of Irish setters, which are well over $100. These are red, a Red Wing brand, and there's been some forum posts about how Irish setters have, were, have never been the same since they were purchased by Red Wing. And so I just wanted to put my experience there. Irish setter boots do look good. They are expensive. You assume that they're going to really perform, and then to have something like this happen is just totally unacceptable. I've had lots of boots in my life, and uh, rarely, I shouldn't say rarely, but... I've had some really good experiences with brands such as Chinook. I've had a pair of Chinooks that I had for nearly 10 years, and they just would not give up. Um, and certainly something like this is just absolutely ridiculous on such an expensive pair of boots. And what I mean is I shouldn't say rare because it's, it's a trend. And uh, when I walk and work, I'm often flexing, you know, using boots. I'm using them. And... Uh, it seems any, a bunch of shoes, you know, over the, especially, you know, getting into the, the 2000s and 2010s and the last few years, they've just gotten worse. Here's these Skechers. They were a bit cheaper, but, you know, they were, you know, genuine leather Skechers. You know, Skechers has always been a cheap brand, but I thought, you know, these would be kind of neat, uh, nice, handy black uh, short top boots for getting on and off. And, you know, same thing here on these Skechers. I'll review that. We have some Columbias here, you know, with their waterproof, waterproof, breathable, you know, their knockoff Gore-Tex. Nice Columbia boots here. Uh, and, I mean, the sulk, I mean, it was embarrassing when this came off. I was actually walking with a couple friends and the heel started flopping against the back of the shoe. And, yeah, I could re-glue this, but it's just like, it's just ridiculous. I mean, come on. Adhesives, technology, you can certainly get an adhesive that uh, actually holds... And so that's always been my disappointment. Anyway, enough of this ranting review, but it was a bit of a rant because these are expensive boots that blew out. And uh, anyway, that's the end of this video. I'll certainly be doing more tool reviews, but wanted to get this boot review up. And I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Catus Maximus out.